We've operated on people with aortic problems from the ages of early 20s to the 80s. Almost anybody can get it. Most people are asymptomatic until the tear occurs and it's sometimes or, or often discovered as a dilation uh, just by luck on a CT scan or an echocardiogram. The aorta is the largest artery in the body and right after it leaves the heart it's susceptible to certain problems. One of the most concerning is to dilate up and enlarge. And once it enlarges, it becomes at risk to tear and to lose uh, continuity of the layers. Uh, blood can then flow between the layers and obstruct flow to organs, the brain, the kidneys, the intestines. Uh, and most, most people, if they tear the aorta in that way, uh, they don't survive more than 24 hours. Well, we have a very specific algorithm that tells us what sizes we worry about depending on the disease process. And so we measure the aorta on CT scan and we repeat that either every six months or every year. And if it reaches a certain size or it grows at a certain rate or it affects the aortic valve causing it to leak, uh, then that's the time to operate. On the patients we operate on who have not had the, the tear, the dissection process occur, they do very well. The dissection process, once it occurs, raises the risks dramatically, and, and so that's when you have a very high-risk situation. We do very well in that situation, but it's, a, it's still a very risky problem to have. Well, one of the things that's important about any center is numbers, and most centers think that if you do 15 to 20 aortic, big aortic operations a year, that puts you in the rank of being a, a center to do this. We do close to 50 uh, aortic operations a year, which is a very large number for a program. That's about 5% uh, uh, of our total operative load. What we know is that the more cases a center does, the better the outcomes, not just for the complex problems like the aortic uh, repairs, but also for the patients with very simple problems. They also do better. We do every kind of uh, heart operation in general, some operations that a lot of centers don't do. So we, we really have a complete uh, spectrum of procedures to offer anybody with heart disease.